Well, I think we all interact with our cities, we all interact with our spaces, and we understand the spaces we live in very, very well, whether it's just walking down to the shops, the roads, the walls. But the city as a space, or your, your home, or your environment as a space, is, is more than the sum of its parts. It's, it has personality, it has little details, tiny little things, whether it's a bit of moss growing on a wall, or um, older posters, or a shop that's always painted and always clean, or um, strange, crazy signs and a Chinese takeaway. All of that adds to your space and what's around you. And the thing that really interests me about that is somewhere that's too clean or too ordered, like a new housing estate, is, is just incredibly dull and kind of quite sinister. Whereas I think we all need a bit of dirt, we all need a bit of wearing in. It's like a pair of shoes that you, you, don't, you don't want them to be too clean, too polished. You want the, uh, the edge is knocked off. And I think that's what I like about it. I love about urban spaces, I love about cities. So adding a bit of my art, adding a bit of a painting, a sticker, is just another layer, it's just another piece. And even when that sticker is taken down, even if it's, it, it, it's almost gone, it's just a, a faint trace of a sticker being there. That's just another layer of personality. And it's like an old man's face. It's like every little blemish and every little wrinkle has been built up over years and years and years. It's difficult to work for me on things that are too clean. I've never been somebody who likes things that are pristine. When you find objects, they have an integrity to them. They have a clarity and they have texture and age and a bit of personality. And a blank sheet of paper is a scary thing. So finding a bit of wood or a bit of even old paper or old books, they already have that level of personality injected into them that, that I can add to and interpret. And I like that idea. And it kind of comes as well from working um, putting stuff on the street. It's almost like taking a piece of music and putting your own spin on it and remixing it. And, and that's what I kind of want to do. I want to remix the objects that I find and take things that are completely waste, completely thrown away and uh, the people think is, is useless and turn into something that hopefully is either beautiful or interesting or both. I started painting hands about two or three years ago and it just came from taking a photograph of a friend of mine or other. He did like this gang sign like this which he was trying to convince everyone to use in Montreal. Um, I just thought wow there's just like such expression there. It's like you can really feel the person behind it. It's like the, the tools that kind of link us and separate us from other animals. So um, there's a lot of expression in these strange looking things and um, I'm always taking pictures of people's hands so it's part of the process is taking the photograph, printing it out, repainting it, transferring it, repainting it again. So it's a several layer process that, that ends up with a painting of a hands or a painting of a face. The technique is transferring an image, it's just a black image and reintroducing the paint and then when that's done the image is dried. I'll then spend hours just like rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and like tiny little bit, it might be just a centimetre and another centimetre and another centimetre. So several hours later the images start to appear and I always start by kind of taking the eyes first or the really interesting details and then working away from that. <laughs> Fucking always do that. And when you've got that done, you can either be amazed or you can still feel, God, there's not that much to do, or um, it needs a bit more. You just need to bring out the texture and the tone and the form um, by bringing in highlights and accentuating the shadows and bringing colour back in and fine tuning the detail and just putting in those little pieces of shards of light or um, that just create a, a, a 
form rather than a flat two-dimensional space. And then in the last sort of five or six months, or longer even, I've just become really interested in triangles. I think the triangle is kind of an interesting shape because it's got personality, it's got a bit of sharp to it. It was the element in my work that I felt was missing and by introducing these triangles it suddenly makes the subject more in tune and more human almost by putting in these abstract cold shapes. I think ever, like everyone, everyone loves traveling, going to places, chilling out, meeting people. And um, there's a good vibe in the street art community. There's always somebody to meet, there's always somebody to hook up with. It's just nice to go to another city and leave something behind, something that's going to be part of the fabric of the city. And, um, I always try when I go somewhere to bring a few paintings or bring something site specific that I know, I mean like stickers that are re relevant to the law, stickers that are relevant to the, to the city. And something for the locals, instead of just ignorantly coming to a city and putting up the law stickers in English. I like the idea that I have no control of it once it's been up there, if somebody vandalizes it or steals it. I'm not happy about that, but I accept it. it it can't be changed, and I wouldn't like to change, I wouldn't like it to be preserved or protected because the environment that I want to change and I want to influence isn't protected in the same way. So it should, it should just degrade and age and blend in with its environment, so eventually it just it seems as part of.